Hey guys, this is Joey. It has been a minute since I've been on YouTube, but I'm back now that it's summer and I have free time. While not much free time, I have enough time to dedicate some of that time to YouTube. And I hope to be able to make at least 10 videos over the next two months. But to start it off, I wanted to do a What's in My Bag video, so stay tuned. And this next edition of What's in My Bag, I wanted to show off a bag that was actually a Christmas present from a family member about a year ago that I, generally speaking, don't get enough use out of because of its size, but I absolutely adore. And now that it's summer, I use this bag whenever I'm going to be going out for the day, if I'm going, for example, to the National Mall or to Georgetown for the day to get some things done. This bag is perfect because I can fit everything in it. It's actually a overnight tote bag, I believe, and it works perfectly for everything that I use it for on a daily basis. The brand of the bag is one that I, I'm not really very I don't use a lot and I'm not very aware of, of a lot of fashions and so in order to be able to correctly pronounce the name of the bag I had to go to YouTube and look up how to pronounce Isaac Mizrahi. Okay, Isaac Mizrahi apparently is the name of the uh, bag and so as you can see on the inside it has this little label here that says Isaac Mizrahi. First of all it has this um, tightening thing here which apparently I, I never use, but it works to be able to tighten it because the only closing mechanism is a little magnet, which is not very strong, but it works. And then this, which is a little addition that I made, is a camel that came from Jerusalem. A very good friend of mine went to Jerusalem and picked up this camel for me. It's a, it's, it has its leg broken off. I didn't see that until now. But it's, it's a camel that represents, for him, a, a fond memory. And so, um, yeah, that's part, of my, that's part of my bag. So starting from the outside, the outside has this cute uh, outer pocket, which is, again, as well, closed by a magnet. And in this pocket, I actually have a ton of whiteboard markers. Well, the reason I have these whiteboard markers is because I'm currently working as a Spanish teacher and as a Mexican culture teacher, and so whenever I go to class, they always have some sort of a whiteboard, but they never have whiteboard markers, so I decided I was going to get my own. Continuing on, I have always got to smell good. As, as you, if you've ever watched my videos in the past, you know that smelling good is, is a good first impression if you're meeting somebody. So I have a Summer Vanilla's Body Lotion from Bed, uh, Bath & Body Works which I keep with me all the time, just in case I get dry or, or um, stanky because I get sweaty here. I actually right now I'm in DC because of Georgetown, so it's very hot and very humid, even though we're only in May. I also have this spray, which is, where is it? Here it is. Which is actually, I got it at um, Whole Foods. It's a glass spray bottle. And I bought separately, I actually brought it out to show you, it's rose water and I am obsessed with rose. It's always cool because it's in the dark um, crevices of, of this cave-like bag and so it, in the middle of the day when I'm sweating like I am now, I just spray myself one or two times and take in the, the rose-like smell and well, it's actually, it is rose. And it doesn't stick to me. It's not a perfume. All it is is, I think it's plant matter. So it refreshes me and cools me down. And it actually is more for me than it is for anybody else because I don't think you can actually smell this on me. The next thing is um, this sunglass case. These are actually Coach sunglasses. They um, are my favorite in the whole world. They're similar to aviators, but I'm not sure if I would call them aviators. Um, it's funny though. I love these sunglasses. And I, w I, I, I wish that they lasted longer than they actually do because the problem is that they always break and I've had to get them repaired already twice. And normally I would just throw away a pair of sunglasses that broke, but because I paid a significant amount of money for them, I wanted to keep them and so I got them repaired. And it's so ironic because I have these sunglasses. Hello. And... They are finagly and break all the time, but then Georgetown gave me this pair of sunglasses for free. They were throwing them at us at an event, and I can stomp on these things, throw them out the window, drive over them, probably light them on fire, and they will still work. 
So there's something to be said for spending a lot of money on useless things that are going to break. I also happen to have a pair of headphones. Um, the new iPhone 5 headphones are amazing. They're much better than the other ones because they are kind of oval shaped, if you can see. Let's see if I can get it in here. They're oval shaped and so they fit more naturally into my ear. And um, I am always listening to music, whether I'm studying or whatever I'm doing. And so, or even if I talk on the phone, um, I'm always talking with this just because I don't like to get the cell phone right up to my head because of worries about radiation. Um, but that's a topic for another day. Um, I always am doing some sort of reading, so I'm reading Reign of Gold, which is a book about um, the Mexican-American experience um, in California, and it's written by, I have a note about Econ on there, Oy, Econ, please, by Victor Villaseñor, and he's actually from Carlsbad, California. And then I have another book, it's called El Circo de los Extraños, and it's a book in Spanish that's a translation of one of my favorite series as a child, um, which is called Cirque de Freak. And so I'm reading books one to three and it takes me, you know, I can read through this in a matter of hours. And I love it because it keeps my brain in Spanish mode as a Spanish teacher and, and as a person who adores the Mexican culture and Latin American culture in general. I also do journaling. Um, not a whole lot, but I, I do jot down some ideas and vocab in English and in Spanish that I like. And so I have this moleskin journal, which I love, and I, and I just like the idea. I'm like my father, t signed 543. Um, I just love the idea of journals. I have about 10,000 of them, and I've written, in I've written about three pages in most of them. But I'm going to fill this one out. And it's nice and small, which is perfect. Um, then I have this adorable little thing. I don't know if I've shown you in a past video, but it's actually just a contact case and in it I have a little Mira and uh, contact juice or uh, Visine I call it contact juice and my contacts case which I keep with me for emergencies so this is my bag I absolutely adore it as I said before it has enough pockets for me to be able to put what I need to put inside zip up and non zip up as you can see and it's perfect for traveling, such that next week when I travel back home to Georgia, I will be able to put all of my clothes in here for a week and not have to carry a suitcase, which is good. Um, it's been great talking to you today, and I look forward to making more videos. Please feel free to comment about other things you'd like to see, and follow me on Twitter, at Joey Pearson. I will talk to you soon. Bye.